Good morning, YouTubers. I am going to show you a very fast video because I want to get these eggs before, I don't know, they've been sitting too long, but I want to show you just one area where they laid eggs. Okay, my Manduka moths, whoops, my Manduka moths laid, look how many eggs are underneath. You see that? Those are all eggs. Let me see if I can get a better shot. Um, trying to use, <laughs> trying to film, but I really want you to see how beautiful these eggs are. Okay, wait. They are bright turquoise. Now they're translucent turquoise, mostly. See how tiny? Those are Manduka moth eggs. And look at how they've laid them right on that stretchy bandage material um, that I use to give them the ability to grip when they're drinking nectar. And they decided, hey, we're just gonna lay eggs right underneath the, uh, the nectar feeder. So you see how <laughs> How that worked out, if I wouldn't have looked underneath, I wouldn't have known. So I just went ahead and removed it, and now I'm gonna gently, um, I'm gonna gently put them into these. Now, these containers, I tend to go to uh, PetSmart and Petco, and mostly PetSmart, because I love PetSmart, but um, I will tell you, I negotiate quite a bit because they are so good about um, the cups that they mark down when uh, they're down to one, maybe the others didn't live. And um, and I just save them. So if you do end up ordering like a, a taller cup, you can order these online lots of places, but I save them and I clean them out really well, especially down by the staple, that's usually, and then I reuse them only one time. So I clean them out really well, let them air dry, and then I end up mixing up my Rapashi Hornworm stuff, and then I reuse them. Now, I will tell you this much. Um, this is what you're gonna need right there. Because if you can find a recipe online, which I did, I tried everybody's homemade recipes, and I could never get it to really work. This is basically the easiest, most wonderful hornworm. If you really want to get into breeding, get yourself even a three ounce or a six ounce. I have to buy the big tub, which is the 70 ounce, and um, I get it on eBay, and he's amazing, and she. Um, anyway, I will tell you this much. I have yet to find a homemade recipe. I mean, I bought all of the ingredients that it takes to make this stuff and I could never get them to really eat it. So maybe I'm just a bad hornworm um, meal eater. Do not, by the way, give your hornworms tomato leaves. There's a lot of different opinions out there, but I know for a fact that if you give tomato leaves to your hornworms, they're gonna gobble them down, but guess what? Somewhere in the process, they become toxic to feed to your reptiles. So I'm going to do another uh, another episode on that little topic alone because I think a lot of people don't know. And when I first bought them, I was just putting them on tomato plants and things like that about four years ago. And um, it was stupid because they were making my, well at the time they were my toads, they were making them sick. So. Anyway, this is the day I'm scurrying to get the eggs off of that. Now, I use the lids, only the lids that have a little bit of, it's like a light, soft, uh, almost like a Band-Aid material, but this is where I'm gonna set them and then, of course, flip it over. So, anyway, we'll cover it, but I wanted to give you an idea of what the day is going to be like today. I'm moving quickly because I have a lot of eggs and I checked on my 
uh, 11 that are in chrysalis mode and they're doing great. Each one of them is pretty close to the final development stage. Uh, I just took a peek at them last night. They're doing really well. So um, they're the ones I have in that green container. So anyway, we got a lot of hornworms to breed. So follow along and if you have questions, I haven't checked the questions this week. It was a busy week for me, but I will get to it later on today. Have a great day and remember, you can do this. God is great.